So <clears throat> I want to talk about, I guess, being a creative person, but having a nine to five job. Now, if you would have caught me maybe two, three years ago, I was like the biggest like nine to five hater, right? Like my nine to five was like my biggest problem. It was holding me back. You know, I couldn't do what I wanted to do, blah, 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 right? But fast forward to now, my mindset about that, about that has changed a lot. And I really think that being an artist or being a creative person while having a nine to five job, it's really about the way that you look at it. You know, you can look at it as a hindrance or you can just look at it as something to work with, you know? Like now I work with my work schedule more than anything. Because to be honest with you, most of my videos get recorded right before I go to work. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the videos that I do in my car, like I'm in the parking lot at my job right now. You just can't see the parking lot. But um, like a lot of my videos are recorded right before I walk into work, sometimes right after work, like right now, you know? And I feel like, you just have to figure out a way to make it work in your favor, you know, as opposed to being like, oh, you know, my job is holding me back. I can't make what I want to make. Because realistically, if you really want to make something, if you really want to do something, and if you're really, really called to something, you're going to figure out a way to do it regardless of how your life is set up right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to make time. At least you should. Otherwise, you probably don't really want that thing that bad. At least that's just the way that I look at it. But at this point, you know, I just don't make any more excuses. You know, I don't let my job really get in the way of anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I used to work more hours then, but now I only work uh, four days a week, eight hour shifts. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the same shift that I've always worked. It's just four days now, you know, and that works for me. You know, I'm still able to get things done. I'm still able to make videos, you know, when I want to make them because I, I don't, I don't really have a schedule or anything like that, obviously. I just kind of make things as I feel like it. And if I don't feel like it, I just don't make anything. But I think we we got to figure out a way to change our perspective on uh, having a nine-to-five job or just having a job in general. Like, we have to just make it work for us, not against us. You know, even if we're making art and stuff like that, you know, it, it's – figure out a way to make it work for you. You know, I, I feel like I've figured out a pretty good way to make it work for me right now. And I can improve upon that if I want to. But as of now, what I have is working for me, you know, and it's just, I don't know, it's just pointless to complain about or act like something is such a hindrance because if something's something in your life is that big of a hindrance, you know, change it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, play the victim like a lot of people do, especially with their jobs. A lot of people feel like they're obligated to go to their jobs or whatnot. But at the end of the day, it's like, if you really want to change jobs, you can, you know, but, and I get everybody's got bills to pay and stuff like that. But, you know, that's, that's just to a degree, that's just life, you know? And if through your art is how you want to make your money, which is what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? I want to make money from this. You know, you still have to put in the time and the effort to make good content in whatever form that that may be. You know, make good content until you can make money from it. But, you know, a lot of the times it's going to take time and you got to be OK with that. Like, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say it's going to take forever. You know, I don't know how long it's going to be before I start making money, but it's going to happen at some point. You know what I'm saying? But you can't let the money be the driving factor for why you make art because if you just make art just to make money then i feel like eh, there's no there's no passion in that like i'm passionate about the videos that i make the, the 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 money to me is like a byproduct of my of my work you know what i'm saying of my of my content whatever i decide to put out it's like the 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 it's the afterthought it's the icing on the cake because realistically the way that i feel when i make these videos and after it's said and done is a feeling that money could never give me. You know what I'm saying? Like like the sense of relief 
that I get the sense of um, satisfaction that I get from making a good video. Like when I'm watching my content and I'm just watching myself just flow without having to edit. Like if you make, if you make videos, you know exactly what feeling I'm talking about. But when I get that feeling, like that's the feeling that I want. You know what I'm saying? The money is, it's an afterthought, man. It's a byproduct. But uh, I don't want to talk too, too long. But hopefully that message uh, resonated with somebody. I just wanted to get that out. I was at work and I was like, I kind of want to make a video today, but I don't want to know what I want to make it about. And then that kind of just hit me and I'm like, I'm going to go with that. So uh, appreciate y'all checking it out. I'm going to get up out of here because it looks like it's getting ready to rain. So y'all, it's getting kind of dark out here. You know what I'm saying? It's been looking like this for a little minute. But uh, I'm going to holler at y'all on the next one, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace.